good evening. Welcome to some more Outer Wilds as it fades away over there. I am your host, as always, Sturm B. Thank you and welcome to my stream. Thank you for joining. I guess I should clarify. Anyway, awkward introductions aside, here we are back again. Yes, this has become a, quite a le long Let's Play series. There's no question about that. Mostly because uh, I'm old and I can't play games like I used to. Uh, my memory is failing, and so I, as you probably noticed, if you have been following along with this series, I've been going back and revisiting places and, and refreshing my memory on all kinds of lore that we've uncovered so far. Uh, it's It sucks. It's a pain. <laughs> um, well, today, let's continue where we left off from last time. And today I have a sort of a clear goal in mind. Um, and I have a confession to make as well. And that is, um, I looked up something right before I started the stream here. One question that had been bugging the ever-loving crap out of me. And yes, it's one of those things that once you look it up, you, you kind of almost smack your forehead. Because I didn't really think to try some of these things out. Well, that's interesting. I don't remember reading that. <laughs> um, and, and I'll even show you here exactly what I'm talking about. So we're looking at the... Uh, whoops, I'm trying to go into the road and failed. By the way, if you are in chat, please well, feel free to say hi. Maybe even give me some hints and gentle nudges along the way. Let me know if my audio and video are doing well uh it's hard for me to tell um actually speaking of which let me check it yeah make uh, yeah looks like it's okay but uh, i'll need you to kind of verify that actually i'll tell you what i will do something that i need to do that i've i don't i've never had to do this before and i don't know why i have to keep going into my microphone and there boost the levels yay now i can actually be heard Okay, there we go. Much better. Almost three minutes in. Okay, now, um, so what I'm going to want to do here is I'm trying to figure, you know, clear out this whole area here. All this quantum stuff. We don't know enough about the quantum and we don't know how to get there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um,. <clears throat> There's got to be some way that we can land on it the way these know my name Solanum did. Apparently, he landed a shuttle on the quantum moon. Um, no Harthian has ever been able to land on it. Yeah, that's true. At least so far. Yeah. No really observed a phantom moon, etc., etc. We have been in Solanum's shuttle. Um. Visitors of the quantum would always arrive at the South Pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. Okay. Um, we don't know the quantum moon's sixth location. We know it does orbit around each of the planets. Um, so that would be, you know, Ember Twin and Ash Twin. I guess they operate as one. Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, Giant Steep, Dark Bramble. Uh, Oh, I guess maybe the uh, Ash and Amber Twin are just two different ones. I don't know. Because um, obviously the Orbital Probe Cannon is not considered that, and neither, I don't think the White Hole is either. And definitely not the Interloper. Pretty certain it's not. And Sun Station definitely isn't. So, um, I think we can actually view all the entries right here. Uh, yeah. The sixth location we don't know about it, the quantum. Okay, we already read all these things. Um, so we pray to make the rest of the journey on foot. This is the quantum and always hard to stop for reason. So let's go back to the rumor mode here. There, there we go. Um, there is a quantum moon locator. How does the quantum moon might be a, form, be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics? Travels in a total of five locations, possibly six, apparently. Um, 
We say possibly, you know. Uh, the Northern Glacier, and yeah, you can shoot my room. We, we know about that ruin. It is the, yeah, tr transfer between the White Hole Station and that. Um, we know more about the Quantum Caves and the Lake Bed Cave and how all that works. We're fine. We understand that. Um, we know about the Quantum Grove back here on Timber Hearth. Found a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. I don't remember the poem. I had to, may have to go back there and reread that. I don't know. Um, and the Tower of Quantum Trials, which we actually yeah found on Giant's Deep, I believe it was. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but it definitely taught us all about uh, quantum mechanics in this game, which is great. Um, quantum shards have other lessons to teach. That's great. There's the gravity cannon. Oh, my show from the quantum moon. Yeah, that's... And then this tower quantum knowledge we also have not been able to get into. And I'm feeling like these two are related. The quantum moon and the tower of quantum knowledge. And we're told that we need to go to the tower of quantum knowledge before going to the quantum moon. Not that we've been able to anyway. Um, because apparently there's something else we need to learn there when going to the quantum moon. Um, I'm guessing these are all the possible shards. Oh, that's not a shard up there, but, um, yeah. So, the, to... Like I said, I did have to look something up. One thing I tried doing was using the quantum moon locator, putting my uh, scout on it so that it would always keep the quantum moon visible, and then we could fly to the quantum moon, still keeping it visible by the scout, hop out and then land on it, touching it with our own feet. Again, while that is still being observed from the quantum moon locator. Um... I, you know, I don't know. So the one thing I looked up, and I don't know if this is something we even should even, should even be doing now, is, because right now we can't get into the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. It's broken. Uh, we just can't get uh, into the, the, the heart of it to learn what it has to teach. Well, I have heard there is a way <laughs> to get in there. And I would have figured there was. I knew that there had to be some way. So rather than just saying it out here, I will um, we'll explore it when we can. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and, and you'll see what I mean. Okay. But we can't get in there right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hop out of this. We're going to take off and we're going to look at some other ideas. Uh, I'm, I'm wanting to go over here to Ember Twin and Ash Twin once again. Yes, I'm getting a little tired of these places myself. Love to visit the Sun Station. There's a lot that I need to learn there. But I just, they did, I fail every time I go there. So... I'm thinking. Oh, okay, back up a little bit here. Um, what we want to do is let me pause it for a moment here to pause the time stream. <coughs> now I know that up here on the surface of an Ember Twin, there is the entrance to the High Energy Lab. The only way to get to the High Energy Lab, because I think the entrance is busted here. I can't remember exactly. Let's see if we can find the entrance to the high energy lab. I know it's around here somewhere. And it'd be good to know for future reference. I'm trying to find it. Whoa, whoa, don't want to fall into the sun now or whatever. So let's see, where is that darn high energy lab? 
I think it's next to one of these poles, like that one. In fact, that's it right there. I think there's the entrance, yes. Let's let's come right on over here. It's land about right here. That's good. That's good. Hop out and hopefully I'm not too close to. Uh, there we go. No, I don't think I am. Uh, we don't want to go down there though. No, no, no. We do want to come up here to this. Yes, and. Exactly, that's what I thought. So, this may be the entrance to the high energy lab, but it's busted. So, the only way to get to the high energy lab, to the best of my knowledge, is by way of the. It's not called Hidden City. What is it called again? Um, uh, the, the, the Sunless City. So we would need to go there. Um, the only way I'm aware of to get to the Sunless City, uh, let's see, is by way of over here. And this is probably not the best way. Actually, wait a second. I think this might be... This orbital cannon right here. I think there's an entrance real close to this. Let's find out, shall we? But I'm pretty certain. Somewhere nearby here is an opening. That will take us right to the hidden city ish is it right here there i think that's it right there ah, yeah okay yeah it's kind of a back entrance of sorts now we can uh oh ouch oh dear And bonk, and over here. There we go. Alrighty. So, okay, that was a dangerous, yet uh, not too bad way of getting over here to the hidden city. Let's get our some O2. And I think we might be too late, because what we need to do is actually go all the way down to the bottom. And open this up and I think we might even be a little late to getting there yep see here's the sand coming through already and we're trying to get to the high energy lab as quickly as we can Oh, actually, I think we can wait. Yeah, just wait right here while we're patching our suit. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, and go across. Ah, for crying out loud. There we go. Losing O2 as we're going through. Oh, okay, so another spot where we have to actually wait. I didn't think there would be this much waiting, honestly. Uh, but that's fine, that's fine. That allows us to, you know, get hopefully get through here. And go underneath that. And up, oh, up, oh, that gotta go around here. And that's not it either. We're gonna get crushed. We're about to get crushed. Oh look at that. Oh look at that. Oh look at that. Oh yes, okay. There we go. Ooh, thank goodness. We're still uh, having some time constraints here. See. Uh, 
I guess we could come down from up there, wherever that is. I don't even know. Um, maybe we'll find out some way somehow later on. I don't know. But this, uh, this at least is the way that I know to get to the high energy lab. Oops, I guess we can just walk around here. I guess. Woof! Barely made it. Got our oxygen. Okay, high energy lab here. Uh, I don't think we need necessarily need to deal with this. Boop! But there it is. I think what we need to do is grab a black hole. Cause see, there's some there's a warp core with nothing in it. There's warp core with a white hole and a warp core with a black hole. So let's get a black hole core, and I'm about sure this is what what we need in order to uh, make all this stuff work. Uh, right now, it's powering. I don't know what it's powering. Something over there. Um, Probably not. Oh, yeah. Though I think it's powering those. Okay, the tunnels or whatever. And I don't think it really matters if we power that up instead. But yeah, you get the idea. Okay. Come up here. Is it up here? No. Must be down here. Yeah. Uh, no. Where's the door? Where's the door? Uh, there's no right here, it's not right there. Where's the door that leads out? Was it actually on the first floor? And I just went right past it? No. Oh, there's one more level on up. Okay. Woo! I'm a dummy. Here's the door. Now this, see if we can open up from this side. We're just going to carry this with us here, because we can. Now our ship is um, way far away. <laughs> so, uh, one thing I'd like to check actually while I'm here. Let's drop down here. Okay, so in the future reference. Okay, we can't really do that, can we? trying to get uh, a good idea. Okay, that's the problem. Is that there is ghost matter blocking our ability to get in there. That's the, the problem. Okay. Shoot. Okay, well. And I don't know what the powering something over here. I don't know what that would be powering. So in the city, and this leads where? Crash site caves. Yeah, we know. So I feel like if we can somehow take this uh, black hole core uh, and, and bring it all the way to is our ship again? Oh, it's on the other side of the plane. <laughs> well, yeah, see this, this, uh, yeah, this wouldn't work. This is kind of a failed attempt. I feel like I should just go ahead and throw myself into the sun at this point, but I won't. Whoa! This is one way to get uh, get to our ship. Whoa! Ow! Okay. <laughs> we here we are. All right, we got a black hole. Oof. Black hole with us. And I feel like if there's some way we could actually take this to... Ooh, 
to the brittle hollow, the hollowness of being brittle. Then excuse me. We could, in theory, create a new warp core, right? Although I feel like given what the uh, old warp core looked like, it looked like it had both, it had two cores in it, both black and uh, white uh, holes in it. Now we need to go to one of the poles, and I think it's this pole right here, the north pole, that has the entrance to the hanging city in it. Yes, it does. Oh, shoot! Thankfully, <laughs> wow, thankfully that didn't kill me. Um, I'm just trying to think if we teleport and come back. Uh, I, I'll work that out later. I'll go ahead and drop on in here now, though. Because there's the opening. A lot of this game is just finding all the hidden openings. That I've just got. Well, not even a lot of this game, but um, a decent amount of this game is, yes, finding hidden openings. But this is, as far as I know, the quickest way to get to the Hanging City. So, yay, here we are. Hooray. And we want to go as quick as we can to... Well, right over here, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. Because this is what launches the black hole, or begins that thing. Does that, yeah, okay. What that does exactly, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, I need to get in there, obviously. That's, that's one thing. Uh... So, let's see. We need to get back up. Oh, that wasn't enough. Darn it. Fine. Nope, that wasn't enough either. There we go. Now we're talking. This will allow us to get back up to our ship. Okay. Through this opening, where there's a uh... yes, right through here. There we go. Bonk, bonking against it there. Hopefully, it's not damaged. Refill, repair. Doesn't look like it's damaged. Now we go back to Ember Twin, right? I think. Assuming, of course. Whoa! Watch out now. Also, before we leave here, let's check something out. Um, on Brittle Hollow, is the place where the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, is that still here? Or has it already gone? No, there's the tower right there. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge is still intact. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, it is still intact right now and still hanging there. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Not by much, but it is definitely still hanging there. Okay. Just want to make note of that. That's all. Get away from that. Goodness. Alright, Ash Twin. We want to get to you. Oh my goodness, the time is almost up. Look at that. We have, we have wasted so much time here. But we're about to go back to Brittle Hollow anyway. <laughs> Just really, really quickly. <laughs> In theory. 
Um, let's find the brittle hollow uh, thing. Is it? Uh, it's this one here that it's kind of triangular. And we'll just kind of set her down here. I almost don't even care what happens since we're so late in the time stream. Don't even hardly care what happens at this point to the, uh, ah, stop that, to the ship, and get on air. And I think we may have just missed it. That would be my luck, wouldn't it? Let's find out. I guess we'll, we'll see soon. I would imagine a black hole forge allows you to forge a black hole. I don't know. Well. Anyway. Oh boy, here comes the sand. Oh, but too late. We're already here at the black hole forge. Okay, now, don't jump. Gotta remind myself every time I'm here. There is the forge. Gotta come on around to this thing. I know we're just about out of time in this loop. But surely. There's something we can do here. I don't know what. Setting it right there shouldn't be it. Hey, can you do something with this? No. Ah. Okay, wait a second. It looks like the thing is broken out there. Uh-oh. I see one's white and one's black. Oh, no. Okay, so... How do we... Huh? How do we do this? How do we fix this thing? It looks like it originally was set up so that you would... Oh jeez, there's, there's stuff up there. Okay, hang on. I didn't notice that last time I was here. Okay. There's things that are connected to the outside. Do we have to do something out here? How? Where? What? Nothing. Wait, 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 what's this? This? Is it this? No, it's not that. There's no way to reach any of that stuff unless I take a suicide jump at it. Right? I'm just trying to figure out how this thing really works here. really difficult for me to figure this out. Uh, hmm. I don't see... Oh, there's the cube, by the way. The end of it all. Oops. It has something to do with that, but it's all broken. See, I'm supposed to put these in there or something. This is busted right here. I don't even know at this point. Uh, so confusing. Well, I don't have enough time to do what I really wanted to do um, regarding the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. It's just not enough time now. I was hoping I could figure out where to put this black hole. Uh, <laughs> but 
but it's not working. It's broken. All right. Well, never mind. Darn it. Let's uh, let's do this. The, what am I calling it? The sun. <laughs> See, it definitely is that shape. It definitely would go in there if it. If I could get it in there. Oh well. Such is the way it is. Poof. Round one down. We fail. As we so often do. <clears throat> Maybe there's some way to get at that mechanism outside while the machine is still lowered? Or do we need to like hop out onto it real quickly? As it's moving, uh, I don't know. But here we go, round two. Um, I have a feeling here in round two. By the way, the video stream is looking a little bit jittery to me. Uh, if it is looking that way to you, whoever's watching, please let me know. Uh, not that there's really anything I can do about it, I don't think. And of course, nothing there. We've, we've hit everything I can think of to hit, except for that tower upon a mile. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to head to Ash Twin. We're going to make another interesting attempt at the sun station something kind of occurred to me that we could do there um maybe that's a big maybe actually i'm going to do two things i'm going to do two things i'm going to go to ember twin first because this is going to take a minute anyway is once again oh, it's right there as a matter of fact isn't it is that it is that the one no that's not the one i'm looking for the high energy lab and that's not there it's going to be the one at the other end right i think there is another one right Oh, bonk. Whoops. Well, never mind. I did not realize we were, um... That close to, uh, Ash Twin. There. And I'll All right, I think the rest is fine. Yeah, it's fine. But now that that's started, we need to, uh, now that the sand stream has started, we want to land close to, once it becomes visible, the sun. See, there's, okay, not that. <laughs> but we want to land close to these, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the tower for the sun station. <clears throat> and hopefully I'm not going to ram into Ember Twin on the way here. Keep our eyes peeled here. There it is. There's the sun. Uh, sun station one. Okay. I always hate dealing with this guy. But it's alright. We're gonna we're gonna make it work. And I think this is far enough away. I hope. 
What we want to do is wait, wait until we see the sand coming for it. Because I'm wondering if there's any way we can use to leverage those bars that are still connecting the stations together to two two pieces of the station together. Probably not. What are these marks on here? Do you wonder? Hmm. It's not even proper hash marks there. <laughs> oh well. All right, so here it comes. It's going to be on a pass. It's going to be on this pass. I'm pretty certain we've parked far enough away that it's not going to pick us and or the ship up. We'll find out, I suppose. So now the stream is looking smooth again. Eh, mostly. What can I say? My computer is old and doing too much stuff at once. Alright, go on by, go on by, go on by. And here is the opening. Okay. This is this moment where it sucks and we have to be real careful. patient right here. Here we go. Made it through just fine. Had to patch it up. That's okay. And, oh, before I zap, let me open that up. Because I want to grab my ship that's over here. Maybe I should have parked it a little closer to that entryway. Try to remember that for next time do this. Try to, right? So over here, and we'll set down, still outside of the range of the uh, uh, sand, you know. Bonk. There we go. And we go. All right. Now let's get on here. Please. And there's our target. Brittle Hollow. The timing wasn't too bad there. And Womp. Maybe? No? Oh, sorry. Not Brittle Hollow. My bad. Sun Station. That's where this goes. Derp. That's all right. I can tell we're about to ready to. Yep, there it is. Come, come on up to it. And we didn't quite. Okay, there we are now. So I keep looking around to see if there's anything at all that I could have done. does but see there's these like um, things that hold the thing the stuff to ah well once again far away. I think. Uh, this is different. This is new. Come on. Come on. And now I'm going away from it. 
that's different as well. Well, okay. There's got to be some way we can make this work. I don't know how, but there's just got to be. <sighs> hmm. Can we get the riddle? <laughs> we seem to be getting closer to it. Nope, it's, well, yeah, ish. Hmm. Because I don't care at this point, you know, if we die or whatever. Or what happens. <sighs> well, we're definitely heading towards it. Let's just see what happens here. I don't think I got enough O2 or definitely not enough fuel to make a... Oh, this is going to hurt so bad. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. So I did. I I was planning on dying actually in that uh, round, just not the way that uh, it actually happened. Uh. Okay. So round three. What should we do on round three? <sighs> well, there's one thing uh, that I would like to attempt on round three here. It's going to be over here on Ember Twin. Um, more specifically, even. Yeah, I know you undershot the target, and that's because old Ash Twin got in the way. But here's the thing. Um, go this is good right here it's probably gonna kill me and you know if it does that's fine I'm expecting that I just figure where is it is this it this is it over here power is being sent over to this thing right Just for the heck of it. Yeah, see, that ghost matter is right in the way. Uh, we can even see the... Uh... I said no, maybe we can just get through it anyway real quickly. And... Transferred down. Nope. Very well. So you can't take that nice little quick shortcut 
to the high energy lab. You have to go through the Sunless City. Fine. All right. Enough pussyfooting around. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Actually, you know what? Let me go back down real quick. I'm going to wait, say, 15 minutes. I'm going to doze off. Boop, 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 boop. There goes seconds and presumably minutes. This is one way to pass time, and I do want to pass the time here. Um, actually, let's make it like 12. I'm not sure if I want to wait an entire, like 15. If, hmm. I don't know. We'll figure. I'll figure something out. We'll work it out. <sighs> Let's see. If I let this count up to twenty-two, that would be the end of the universe. Again, tempted to just let that happen. Actually, I probably get an achievement for it. How much you want to bet? Nah, I'm not going to do that. That wouldn't be a very fun stream to see. Let's, let's uh, stop it at 12, I guess, because I'm going to head to Brittle Hollow if I can at that moment. And do what I keep, what I, you know, heard about. <laughs> and here we are at 12 minutes. Oh, this is some interesting music. I don't think I heard this before. Or maybe I did during the very first episode, you know. When uh, I was exploring Timber Hearth, that might be the Timber Hearth music, actually. Wow, it's a bright sun. Alright, where are you, Brittle Hollow? I know you're around somewhere. Oh, hello, you're, there you are. Whoa, whoa, okay, backing off. Woof, you actually came really close to Timber Hearth here, huh? Okay, okay. All right, so uh, with this, where is, the tower. Is the tower even... I mean the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, that is. Is that... Is it around anymore? Has it already fallen? No, there it is. So let's come over here and land. Oh, kaboom. I'm gonna land right on top of, if I can, ish. Right on top of the Tower of Farm Knowledge here. So, I really need to get in there. Don't know how. But, I have heard there is a way to get in there. And it's going to require, unfortunately, a great deal of patience. <clears throat> 
There's really not much we can do here, I think. So these stairs obtain the last open all you need for your journey. So, yeah. Well, wouldn't mind doing that. But we're going to need to be patient in order to do so. And it occurs to me, there's no oxygen here, is there? Shoot. Um, and there's probably... I think these might be... Uh, I don't know where that hit. Over there somewhere, I think. Oh! Here we go! Womp. So, we just went through with the tower. To the um, white hole. Ow. Okay. Trees detected. How are the trees detected? Our ship was right over there, but oh, I guess the trees are right there. So here we are at White Hole Station. Oh, there's our ship. No, that's not the ship. That's uh, that's that. So let's go on down here now that we're in free fall, you know, more or less. So this is basically how you get in. Um, and, and yes, I know this is very disorienting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Velocity matched. Uh, the little thing is no longer there, so we're gonna have to. Oh yes, it is actually. Sure, let's take it. Eh. All right. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work anymore. No, not that direction. Come on, trying to get in here. Is it not? Gonna, is it gonna reject me? Yeah, it's not gonna let me take it. That's fine. I have other ways of getting down here. I'll go on it. Whoa, whoa, this this is it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. So this is as far as I'm aware the only way to be here in the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't see anything here. Is there something supposed to be right there? And I'm not seeing it? <laughs> I guess it's, the t it's this tower. Uh, okay. Well, we can't see whatever was supposed to be down there. Unless we have some, uh, those things like these scrolls in it or whatever. Let's come over here and grab the scroll, shall we? Using up all of our fuel here. Whatever. And what's in what's up here? Well, there goes that thing. Yep, there we are. There it is orbiting the Sun, or Eye of the Universe, I guess. Yeah. Okay, equip the translator. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your pre preparations on Giant Steep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. Don't know about that, but okay, sure. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine or clan built on the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Okay. Be curious on your journey. Alright, uh, can we... Uh, hang on. Let me... 
set this down. I can't really set this down. Uh, well, I guess I can set it down if I come like over here and plop, drop the scroll there. And then, whoops, whoops, whoops. Sorry, wrong, there we go. Now take this down. Come on. I know, I know, there we go. Remove that scroll, thank you. Come back over here. Oh, I didn't even see that there was another, oh shoot. Now I feel kind of dumb. There's already a, uh, another thing up there, end of the universe. Yep, see. Do this quickly if you can. If you're here to make first pilgrimage upon me, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply secret journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also on the members of the clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to the solar star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These know my looked up from two different planets saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. <sighs> Come on. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity with you. Well, that... really didn't help. I was hoping it would, but it didn't. Shoot. Oh well. I was hoping it would tell me how to get to the quantum moon. So it gave me a lot of vague references about remembering the people who come before you and so forth, which would help. Oh, uh, what is this round four this time here? Mm -hmm. Round five, I've already lost track. <laughs> That's okay. How long have we been going? About an hour. Okay, I got some more left in me. I don't have to stop it here. Uh Well So one thing we know, actually, let me go on to the ship here. We do know that one of the shuttles is on the quantum moon, right? Right now, it exists on the quantum moon. And we can recall it using the probe launcher or whatever uh, for, on uh, Brittle Hollow, if we wanted to. So there's the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Finally, no, I built a shrine on the Quantum Moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After the two groups of Nomai strand, stranded on in between and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. We know that. You know, I went on pilgrimage during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. We got that. Yeah. No, I built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage. Okay, we we know. We we are well aware about that sixth location, and the shrine must be on the north pole. 
Great. Now, the problem. Um, and we know that, you know, see the sun station's a big old question mark again. Mm, can't get to it. I may have to look these things up. I see your, I hate to do it, but I may have to. Interesting that the northern glacier on Brittle Hollow is related to the to the quantum moon. We have the warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. Yeah. I still think it has to do with this this uh, locator, you know. That if we put a, you know, our quantum, I mean, our quantum, excuse me, our scout on the moon thing, so it's constantly visible. Yeah. But no, what I was thinking of was about um, recalling the shuttle because you can recall the shuttles from either location. Um, there's from uh, Brittle Hollow, is, is it shuttle? I think it's shuttle. Um, you can recall the shuttle back from the quantum moon to its launch pad. Okay, fine. Um, but then the only things you can do from there are to launch the shuttle or uh, that's it. I don't think you can like teleport it back to work uh, from from whence it came. It's the whole point of the shuttle. Uh, even though it was apparently launched from Brittle Hollow and landed on the quantum moon, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. The other shuttle, of course, was launched from here, Ember Twin, and landed on. Uh, and we found it even on um, the interloper, the uh, comet that flies around. <sighs> so. Uh, I'm just going to do something stupid here. Um, and I know, I know, well, sometimes it's the stupid things that... Yeah, that, don't bet on it in this case, at least. Uh... Thinking of using that uh, little locator again. It's on Ember Twin. I'm trying to remember exactly where it is now. I always have trouble finding it when I need it, you know? There it is. <laughs> you can see things moving around there. Here, I'm going to come over here. There we go. That's probably going to cause a problem. I'll bet you those things that are flying around it's going to... Ooh, like that. I'm gonna wreak havoc with my ship. Yeah, it's gonna knock my ship over. <laughs> Actually, it is, uh, wow, the ship's getting in the way. No, oh, that's nice, it's just kind of lifting it up there. Of 
Well, it's going behind the sun now. So I'm willing to bet that even though it's within my field of sight, I didn't really mean to land, let, let it land there, but that would maybe, hopefully, kind of sort of work. And I know this sound is annoying, but I don't quite know how else to make this work. It still says the quantum moon is right there, which it, it, it is. And if I turn away from it and get in my ship, and fly toward it. It's gone now, isn't it? Yep, it is. Yep, see, it's, been, it's moved again already. As soon as I took off, it, 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 it was gone. So, you know, unless it, uh... Good grief. Oh, for crying out loud. Here, let's look at the landing camera. There you go. around Brittle Hollow. And again, it's about to go behind the darn sun. Why is it doing that? Because it's not visible anymore. And see, it immediately has moved. Do you see that? So it's no longer there. So, um, you know, might as well recall it from there. Where is it now? Hollow again, yeah. I don't even. S oh, I see it there. Okay. Now watch the minute I get in here. See, it go, it's gone again because I didn't have it up on my screen. So I guess this way doesn't work after all. I want here's so here's a thought. Um, if we put it on the actual, I'm trying to anyway, there we go, put it like right there, then it doesn't really matter which one it's around, it'll keep swiveling around to, to the one that it is, uh, in theory, right? See, it's moving. And now it has found, uh, located itself with what bramble or something yeah of course it would have to be dark bramble which way is dark bramble there it is ah oh, goodness keep taking pictures of it even though <laughs> I don't know. Now watch when I um, wait, I'm 
board it and move it out of the sea. Now it's no longer there. Oh, for crying out loud. It says it's still around Dark Bramble. But, you know, I'm not seeing it here. Even though it supposedly is still following it. I don't know, man. I... <laughs> I don't know anymore. Uh, I'm honestly getting really kind of frustrated with this. Unless the moon went inside of Dark Bramble. Alright, tell you what I'm going to do here. Wait, where is everyone? Hello? Oh. Because it's still is showing Dark Bramble. Even though very clearly it isn't because I just was looking at it. I go all the way back to Ember Twin and see if my scout is where it looks like it is on here. You know? Because I don't, I don't believe that it is. I think it's moved and that these pictures are false somehow, some way. Yeah, see, so. I guess once you get a certain distance away, the things stop moving. Which means I don't even know at this point. <sighs> I don't even know. So, if anyone's got any ideas in chat, I'm listening. Otherwise... You know. Hmm. to do. I genuinely don't. You can't just launch a... scout um, onto uh, the quantum moon itself, either. Here it is. Hello, Quantum Moon. Gets to it and it just disappears. It's static. It is literally in orbit of what? I 
And it's gone again. Because <sighs> I looked away. Velocity to what? What am I even looking at there? Is the graphics gone nuts or something? What's going on? What are we get even getting close to? Don't even know. What in the world? What is that? I feel like this is a um, Easter egg or something here. Okay, well, I, I don't know. This is just a, 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 an Easter egg, that's all I can figure. Okay. Well, uh, all right. Quantum moons anywhere. Oh, there it is. I'm about to not see it again. Seems like, and of course it's gone again. What the heck? Yeah, that was messed up. It's 
so I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, time's almost up this this time. Time is just about up. And that's okay. The only thing I could figure that was running through my head is that I would fire a scout onto the planet that this uh, moon is orbiting. You know? And thus, uh, the... Um, Oh, it's going to miss that, isn't it? And that's not going to be able to see wherever that lands. Yeah, that's not going to be able to see this quantum moon. Yeah, and the problem is you have to put away the scout. to it before the universe ends. I'm actually making it there. <laughs> I just want to know, you know, if, um, touching it with my own two feet, so to speak, would actually allow me to land on it. You know, that's all I really want to know. Come on. I'm not going to make it before the... <laughs> The universe ends. That's a shame. It still is moving away from me. <laughs> shame what a shame to be so close and yet so far away trees detected where are trees detected here <laughs> that was weird okay so I mean I think we may have discovered that yeah just by touching it that way, um, landing on it, uh, doesn't actually land on it. <sighs> well. So.
One moment, please, while I do a little something I, I probably should not do. <clears throat> and... Specifically, that is... Uh, how, how, how to do this stuff, how to do anything here. Um... There's just uh... so I'm looking at polygons guide slash walkthrough here. Um, and I have done so much of this stuff here over the pro canon, almost everything on Dynasty. Tower of Quantum Trials, yeah, we we definitely done that. The Orbital Pro Cannon, we can't get to one of the three pieces of it. Um, let me let me check something out. Let's check the uh, rumor screen again, real quick. Pretty sure so we go to rumor mode and look at the three things. Yeah, there's the launch module. Okay, so apparently we can get into the launch module, maybe. Um, I'm not sure we're going to really learn anything there, but, I mean, it's worth it, I suppose. Uh, yeah, Sun of the City, Frozen No My Shuttle, and the Ruptured Core. We did see that. Um... Sun Station. There's there's something I would I'd dearly love to figure out, you know. And, you know, The problem, okay, see, this is, I'm, I'm reading the thing about the sun station. It says, when you land on the sun station, the gravity will leading up, follow it to the top, jump to the next gravity wall as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, at the end, read a know my script, use a blue ball lock uh, to blow the door, which we did. Jetpack your way straight through the door. You're aiming at a tiny door with yellow chevrons near the top of the tower opposite you. I mean, I tried that many times. I'll give it one last shot, and then I'm going to... Well, there was the... Moon again, not that that matters in the slightest. Now. But yeah. Um. Let's just kind of hang out around here. And we'll see uh, once the sand starts, and hopefully we'll find the, uh, I hope we're not going to fall towards some other planet behind me, like Giant's Deep or something, there's the moon again.
on the side here, and we'll just kind of keep an eye on things. And watch for when the sand begins moving, and watch for when the... Yep, there they go. And it'll take a little bit. Ember Twin, so I gotta be careful that it, I, I don't fall into its gravity well, you know. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. supposed star-shaped one is. I can't remember at what point we actually do start to see it. Oops, oh, oh, looking too close now. Looking too close. I should start seeing it soon, and I, I wish I could tell you exactly where. Why is that not even? That's definitely not even there, is it? Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's over here. this end of it. Well, uh, yeah, I need to get a little bit further away because I don't want to get sucked up by the uh, sand. It's no point. Ooh, hello, interloper. It's no point in going through this door that we're seeing here. Because it's broken currently. As you can see, that's the reason why we have to go, go in through the other side, which we'll be able to do as soon as this passes by here. Ground. There we go. Okay. That was, uh... Just check. See if anyone in chat was saying anything, and of course, no. no one really was. All right. Here we go. Because there's only this is the one place to visit that has such a small window of being able to come and visit it, and it's a good thing I can patch this thing up. And um, is extraordinarily difficult to. Uh, I could have done that. I'll have to remember that for next time, though. And we'll need to wait until the sun is back overhead again, or close to overhead again. Right? Well, I guess it's coming up again. Here we go. So, yeah, uh, it claims, this this walkthrough claims that all you gotta do is just use your jetpack to get straight across. I don't believe that. <laughs> um, I, 
I just, uh, I really don't believe that. But, you know, hey, whatever. See, see, see that? As expected, the gravity of the sun just isn't enough to get us there. Actually, I did do something wrong. So I'll give it one more quick try before I uh, call it quits there. Yeah. I did do one thing that I think was incorrect, and that is the the uh, matching, I was holding down the matching uh, velocity and, and such button, and I think once you've matched, it turns off that matching. Um, even if you hold down the button, It holds, it, it uh, turns off that matching until you let go and hit it again. Then it matches again and matches again and matches again. You get the idea. Um, if you just keep letting go and hitting that space bar. But, man. I mean, it's not like it says, okay, take a running start, you know. And then do it. It just says jetpack your way straight through the door. Um, no, I can't. <laughs> I've tried. Um, I would like to just maybe fly to it with this, but you know that's just not going to work. This is going to be my last attempt, I think, for the night, and then I'm going to call it quits after this. I just can't really be, it's not that I can't be bothered, it's just I can't really do anything else. Um, you know. Yeah, see, I can hold it down, but see how it's already drifting? I have to hit it again, and again, and again, in order to keep doing that, yeah. And there starts the sand. Follow this. Uh, hang on, I don't want to get. I don't want to get caught in its gravity well there. No, thank you. I was trying to use this. See how this, the little four antennas. Oh, that's interesting. So they're not quite evenly distributed. Um, it's interesting. I, I always thought they. Were were, but clearly not, you know. And there's the sun, okay, so, uh, sun, teleport, whatever, you know what I mean. Alright, come on, get us turned or whatever, thank you, there we go. Glad it automatically does that for us. Again, come on, back down. Okay, okay, okie dokie. Actually, this time I'll park right about here. And, um, so 
light we got there. There's some buttons out there. Looks like. Wait for the uh, column of sand to pass by once again. Whitehall Station. It's not behind us, is it? Oh, there it is over there. Okay. Actually, it is going to pick up my ship, isn't it? Well, I don't care if it does. At this point, because, you know, as I've said before, this is going to be a one-way trip anyway. Yep, bye-bye, ship. And it's going to crash and bust and break and everything else. Which, again, is fine. We can kind of cut through here. Wish we could crouch, but we can't. And here we are. If we hurry up, we can make it right here. Which we didn't. How did we not? Great, so we gotta wait for another round. Huh. Yeah. We'll definitely be low on O2 by then. Well, maybe not. Here it is. See, it goes past it, which is finally interesting. Unfortunately, we can't even target it right now the way it is. See, and now I'm floating away from it. Because, you know, of course. <sighs> I don't know why. Yeah, and now it's disappeared beyond the edge there. <sighs> and I don't know where the Ember Twin is. I mean, Ash Twin is, so I can maybe get back to it. They're also on the other side, I guess, apparently. Who knows, maybe we can meet up with this thing again. I mean, I doubt it. I probably will die smashing into it or something. Oh, it's gone already. There's yeah, your number twin. I 
I'm actually moving toward it, although super slowly. And I'm almost out of oxygen. This is all just not even going to really happen here. We're just going to asphyxiate in space if that's all right with you, okay? I'm going to uh, do some research between this stream and next just flying out now. Who cares? <sighs> Getting far away from everything. Um, I'll do some research. I'll look up some other uh, things online and see what they say. Maybe even watch a video sample of how someone does does the sun station thing. Because I have literally tried to with with the sun station jumping to the other half at least half a dozen times at least and every time fail I either fall into the sun or fall away from the sun paradoxically um doesn't seem to matter and quite frankly i'm losing my patience with it um same thing with this whole quantum moon thing. I've done that at least half a dozen, if not a full dozen times. I so If someone wants to go back and watch all the times I've tried and, and counter them up, go, go right ahead. I'm minorly curious to know. But um, I'm just, I'm getting so frustrated with these things that... Yeah, I'm just kind of, kind of done for a bit and ready to just um, start looking at a walkthrough. Um, if someone wants to try and talk me out of it, feel free to leave your messages of encouragement down below. Maybe even give me some gentle nudging hints um, if, you, if, if you don't mind. Uh, I don't know. I'd like that, actually. But... Uh, it just seems like everything that I'm trying to do to, to move forward in this game is going nowhere. And we're about to crash in here. Yeah, okay, good. Thanks, Giant Steep. Didn't help, though. Good night. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry for so, uh, uh, such a bummer of, a, of an episode where we didn't really learn... Any, well, we learned one useful bit of information. And we can't even use that bit of information... ...till I don't even know when. Certainly not now. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here um like i said if you wish to encourage me to um play this again which should be this saturday the uh 11th 9-11 um which by the way today is star trek day hooray the 55th anniversary of star trek september 8th 1966 when it first aired i believe at any rate um and of course, you know, the next time I stream, it'll be in commercial night of I guess. Weird. That's the way the days worked out this year, apparently. Um, but yes, please feel free to leave me any messages of encouragement if you're so inclined. And uh, we, uh, I greatly appreciate that. Or, and, and if you can, if you know much about this or you really want to do the research instead of me and then give me some gentle nudges on what I need to do by all means feel free um, if there's no way to do that if, if I've used up all my gentle nudge quotia, quotient uh, quote, what, quota okay can't, can't even pick the right word now fine at least uh, point me to a video that teaches me 
how to get across on the sun station or shows me what the heck I'm missing there. I don't know. I'm just getting really kind of tired of that. In a game that uh, so far uh, up till now has been relatively easy. So a few little bits of platforming and, and, and uh, Twitch gameplay, but not much. Now it throws this at me, which I mean, I, okay, I'm done talking about the Sun Station. If you are so inclined to follow me, please do so here at twitch.tv slash You can also follow me on Instagram, where I'm simply known as Sturm, and on Twitter, where I am at Sturm That is the best place to follow me on Twitter, because that's where I make any announcements, such as cancellations, postponements, or just, oh, hey, hey, I'm going to be playing on time today, or whatever. But, so, uh, please follow me there on Twitter, at Sturm B. For those of you watching this on YouTube, please smash the like button. No, not like. Yes, that's right. Smash the like button or thumbs up button, whatever you prefer. Uh, hit subscribe, kick the bell, and comment down below. I will read and respond to any comments that are not spam. If, it, if you do comment spam, I'll report you. Um, I, but the best thing to do, uh, if you really like any of this, I don't know why, but if you do, Feel free to please uh, come catch me live. I stream live every Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. It's 0100 UTC currently. And on Saturday afternoons at 2 p.m. Eastern, it's 11 a.m. Pacific or 1800 UTC currently, just for your time zone. And once again, I'm sorry for the kind of bummer way that this episode ended. It's just, uh, I'm sorry. At least we learned something during it. I'll say that much at least. So until next time, folks, please take care out there and stay safe.